one to enjoy. Yes, I am. It's my first child. I'm so excited. Oh, congratulations. I just had my second gift from above. Which one is yours? The beautiful baby boy right there. Oh, he is so precious. That's my little girl sleeping. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Congratulations. Thank you. Star Fox 79 will be so excited to meet his little sister. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you just say? I said that my son, Star Fox 79, will be delighted to meet his little sister. <laughs> your, your son's name is Star Fox 79. It is quite a lovely name, isn't it? He's named after his great grandfather. <laughs> oh, how lovely. Pray tell, what is your daughter's name? My darling little princess is named Anime Fan 2012. <laughs> <laughs> What's your son's name? Matthew. <laughs> oh, well, isn't that special? <laughs> Sorry, it seems to me like you have a problem with my son's name. Oh, no, 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 not at all. It's just not the typical name you hear. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Your son's name sounds like the username for a 40-year-old who lives with his mother. Well, I never... Uh, excuse me, ladies, do you know where the nursery is? Oh, why, yes, Tony, you're standing oh. in front of it. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Wow, look at all those cute little flesh sacks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, aren't they just adorable? Honey, which one is yours? Uh, that little man in the making is mine. Oh, he is so cute. Look it at is those little cheeks. His mother's still resting up. Took over 40 hours to get that little guy out. Well, isn't that special? Uh, thank you. We just finished filling out his birth certificate, too. What's, What's his, his name? name? Uh, well, my wife chose the greatest name. Uh, her brother and her father both shared the name. It's truly something special. Oh, just tell us the damn name already. His name is Zero Maximum, one, two, three. What's his name? Oh, why, thank you. Uh, we were deciding between Orc Slayer 69 or Gaylord 001, but my wife called it Zero Maximum, one, two, three, and we were sold. <laughs> A small world. We decided to give him emo underscore night 45. This is real name. <laughs> what the hell kind of names are those? Well, excuse me, Miss Name Connoisseur. What's your kid's name? Matthew. <laughs> Matthew? <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> Did you get that out of a cereal box? I know, right? Oh, look at my son named Matthew. <laughs> That's good. That's good. You know what? I hope that you and your World of Warcraft children have fun together. I'm out of here. <laughs>
So good to be here. This place is incredible. Oh, uh, Mr. Wilson, you're wasting time. Please sit down. All right, all right. Calm down, amigo. <laughs> oh, God. You're just unreal. <laughs> oh, thanks. The doctor did a great job, huh? No, no. He doesn't deserve that kind of credit, no. That's all you, baby, yeah. <laughs> so what's your story? Um, well, I own my own makeup line. Apparently, I'm pregnant. Uh, but I haven't decided who I want to let. Be the dad, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be crazier than Roland, but well, that's what I like about you. Yeah. Uh, so, have you been working on anything recently? Honestly, I have a clue. Just taking things day by day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, hello? Very safe 
<laughs> to me, Bob. But I bet Margaret used it because I read that through the grapevine, she's too lazy to do her own dishes. Am I right or am I right? That's right, I'm <laughs> in! <laughs> Sorry I'm late. My car wouldn't start. Hey, sir, don't you live just down the road? <laughs> yeah, what do you think I was going to do? Walk? I'll get Tucker. Let's just get to it. You look great. <laughs> <laughs> I think my shirt's a little tight, no? <laughs> no, it's perfect. Look jacked. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How you doing, everyone? This is Tucker Tuxin. I'm going to show you my whole new workout plan. I'm going to show you how to get ripped and shredded, like me. <laughs> now, I'm going to take you through the M16 Cardio Blaster DVD. I'm going to start with the warm-up. Let's start with some jumping jacks. Let's do it. <laughs> well, you just want to keep a, cons <laughs> a consistent rhythm. If you look at the modified version, I'm going to do the modified version. <laughs> and, and, Jesus Christ. I'm going to take a ten minute break, and we'll get right back to... Cut! Tucker, that was the warm-up. There, there's no breaks in between. Oh, yeah. I was just testing you. You passed. <laughs> well, I'm going to get right over to our next workout. Just push-ups. Let's do it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> now, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do the modified version so you can see. Wh Sir, what should I do? I'm supposed to be doing the modified version. Uh, if you think you can handle it, you can do the real. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> No, my back is killing me. It feels like my eyes are bleeding. And why are none of you sweating? Sir, I don't have been that challenging. Oh, screw you, Sally. You're fired. Any more quitters? Didn't think so. I'm no quitter. Now let's get this thing done. <laughs> Next exercise is burpees. Fuck. <laughs> Embarrassed. 
person is my cahog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll transport them to the game. Screaming left and right. <laughs> Each orange wedge could just ride the mother as it's I mean, the dog was like this big. Like, how am I supposed to put a dress on him? I don't know, you told me that. Hello? I mean, he's just not ready for this doggy wedding. Hey. He'd either have to go on a diet or wear a hat. No. Excuse me. But then he'd be naked. Can I, can I take the <laughs> order, please? Sorry, I'm at Starbucks and this barista is being very rude. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a grande pumpkin spice latte. Okay. You want anything? Do I want anything? Okay, no. then bye! Yeah, right. <laughs> Hi, what can I get started for you? Um, I have a question. Uh, sure. So I know you guys have hot tea, but is there any way that I can order that but cold? Um, like an iced tea? Yeah, I can do that for you. No, not an iced tea. A hot tea. But cold. Um, <coughs> yeah, that's an iced tea. No, 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 I don't want ice. Are you here? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can pour out the iced tea and leave the ice, but I want a hot tea with like the tea bags and stuff. I, I thought you wanted it cold. <laughs> exactly. I <laughs> don't think I understand your question. Whatever, you know, I'll just have a caramel cappuccino. Is there any way that I can order that but hot? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I'll just make you that cold, <coughs> hot tea, whatever that is. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye. Get out. <laughs> uh, hi, what can I get started for you? Hi, can I have a mojito frappuccino? Uh, we don't serve alcohol here. I know that, Zoe. It's, a. Uh, it's on the secret menu. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to make that. What? Isn't this a Starbucks? You're supposed to know. <laughs> well, uh, secret menu drinks aren't really affiliated with the Starbucks brand, but if you have the recipe, I can make it for you depending on the ingredients. Never mind, I'll just have a Starburst Frappuccino. That's part of the secret menu. A Butterbeer Frappuccino? Part of the secret menu. A, a Dragon Frappuccino. That's also part of the secret menu. What would even be in a Dragon Frappuccino? <laughs> Actual dragon fur, like... <laughs> 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 just, never mind, I'll have a pumpkin spice latte and I'll be speaking to corporate about this. <laughs> well, good luck, bye. <laughs> well, I hope this next customer orders something we actually have. Uh, what can I get started for you? So, can I get a unicorn frappuccino? Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> I quit! <laughs> All right, dude. You ready to win Jessica's heart? I don't know, man. I'm pretty nervous. What if I mess up? What if she says no? I would if... Bro! Look at me. We rehearsed this for five months. If she doesn't go out with you in the, after the first verse, then she ain't worth it! You're right. Bros for life? Bros for life. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, hi, Marty. Can't talk now. I'm gonna be late. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> You look at fine today. With the flippy flop sauce. Something I gotta ask you, so I don't gotta go with my mom. Uh, he wants to ask you to prom. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, Marty. Yes, I never thought you'd ask. Oh yeah. Now I know you probably don't want to go with me. Understandably. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't get a lot of girls, but I'm in distress. So woman lacks him except his mom. God bless. <laughs> Were you expecting me to say no? I'll probably cry myself to sleep tonight thinking of your hair. Oh, with his favorite teddy bear, Mr. Love Prince. <laughs> Wait, Marty, I said yes, Mr. Lumpkin? You know, Louie? <laughs> what is Marty? 
Sometimes I think I'll never get the girl. God damn it. I talked to someone about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, but that therapist ain't helping. <laughs> oh, dude, stop well, Ben. I know. I just hope Jess says yes. So I don't gotta feel this pain no more. Okay, what is even happening? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lumpkins. No, <laughs> oh, you think my heart burst on fire? Just some sweat in your face like you die now. Honey, you can choose good by far. Well, why back seat? Pick my brother in the car. <laughs> Don't you see? Dude, I agree. <laughs> so, Jess, will you go to prom with me? Yeah. Go pick you up Saturday? Uh, sure. All right, I'll see you Saturday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ed's show. I'm Ed. You may know me from Ed, Ed, and Ed. Today, we have a few of your favorite childhood characters. Dora and Johnny Bravo are here today. We also got caught up with the Ninja Turtle, Courage the Cowley Dog, who cannot make it tonight, and Little Bear. And I just received word that Little Bear is in the building. So, Dora, when we last met you, you were going on an adventure with your backpack and trusty map. What have you been up to since then? Oh, recently I caught up with Swipe with her brunch. I said, well, Stan, Matt and I haven't really been speaking since uh, Google Maps and I became friends. And have you still been going on adventures? Absolutely, I love to travel. Uh, you can catch all my adventures on my Instagram, at Dora the Exploradora. Follow me! <laughs> and Johnny, when we last met with you, you were having a little bit of trouble with the lady business. Have you found that special someone yet? <laughs> More like special somebodies. I'll tell you what, Ed, there ain't no trouble now. <laughs> hey, baby, I'm pretty, you're pretty. Why don't you say we go home and stare at each other? Everybody, can you say pegar? Pegar! Good! Looks <laughs> <laughs> like that's not much has changed on your end. Let's catch up with our friend Courage the Cowley Dog. Courage, can you hear me? It's just a camera. Well, well, I guess that explains his surroundings. Well, let's catch up with our friends in Ninja Turtles. Turtles, can you hear me? Cowabunga, dudes. It's just me, man. They got my brothers, man. They got the pizza. They even got Master Splinter, man. They probe us in our butts. Come on, man, help. You gotta help me, man, help. Oh, okay, well, that's enough of that. Um, let's have a little chat with our friend Little Bear. Thanks, Ed. It's good to be out. May I ask why the chains? Oh, they're afraid I'm gonna remove my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and why would they fear that? Oh, I'm a nudist, Ed. Ever since I turned 18, I couldn't put on adult clothes, so the man forced me to. <laughs> why wouldn't you wear clothes? I'm a bear! Why does it no one seems to understand that? God! <laughs> Hey, baby, how about me and you be nudists together? Huh? Everybody, Johnny no creeping. Johnny no creeping! Johnny no creeping! And well, that's our show, everybody. Tune in next week when we meet up with the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Call me Forrest, Forrest Gump. Today we're here to talk about the so-called tragic oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Did you just put air quotes around tragic? Well, Mama says you have to cook things nice and good to get them to taste nice and good. And lately we've been having problems cooking the shrimp is all. So now with this oil spill, it's like the shrimp come with the oil already on them, so we don't got to do nothing to worry about. It. <laughs> 
Wait, are you telling me that you're feeding your customers the toxic oil covered shrimp from the Gulf? Of course. It's like a blessing from God. Mom always used to say you gotta do best with what God gave you. Sir, I don't think you understand just how dangerous that is. <laughs> oh, come on. There ain't nothing dangerous about tiny old shrimp. They can't even hurt a fly. Of course. That's probably because there ain't no flies in the ocean where the shrimps live. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying at all. The oil is toxic. You're feeding your customers toxic oil. No, ma'am. Our shrimp are prepared safely and soundly thanks to our state-of-the-art chef, Benjamin Buford Blue. But I just call him Bubba. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Give you a bubble gun shrimp, provide you the best quality of shrimp. We can grill them, cook them, deep fry them, shower fry them, put them in a bowl of water, put them in a fire, put them in a microwave, microwave, and put them in a microwave and process microwave, and then put them in another microwave and microwave them more. <laughs> and ask them to be cooked. We could ask them a little more force to be cooked, they ain't listening at first. We could put them in a volcano, have the lava cook them. We could one of those meteors to drop out of the sky with the fire. And uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> well, you heard it here, folks. Bubblegum shrimp is unsafe and unsanitary. It's just sin. Bubblegum shrimp is saving the, the ocean. What? The shrimp is actually cleaning the oil out of the ocean. Mr. Grum, how do you feel about this? Pretty good. My shrimp are just cleaning the ocean. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> this is incredible. First cleaning the ocean, then what's next? Climate change? I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you will. You heard it here, folks. This is Tom Myers with CNN News signing off. Absolutely. I can't be the only one who listens to your mom's opinion about the Kardashians' new ass cheeks. Wow! <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, Mom. David is always so busy with work. I'm glad he finally gets to meet my wonderful family. Uh, so, David, what is it that you do again? Oh, I edit videos for a media company. We specialize in gym promotional videos. Oh, you know, that is so cool. Perry loves to work out. Perry also loves to show up late to dinner. Cut him some slack. He's on a date with that Jerry fella. Wait, Jerry Fella? He has a b -b 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 boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, why? Is there something wrong with No, you? there's nothing wrong with me, I mean here. <laughs> um, can you help me with the sweet potatoes? I think they're ready. You seem nervous. Well, I was always embarrassed to tell you this, but I have a mental disorder. What do you mean? I have homophobia. <laughs> what? That's not a mental disorder. That means, one, you hate gay people for no reason, and two, you're an asshole. No, I don't. <laughs> I respect gay people. I'm just scared of them. Well, scared is an understatement. I'm absolutely terrified. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. How can you be terrified of gay people? Well, have you ever seen Stephen King's It? Yeah. Well, I'm like the Losers Club, right? And gay people are like my Pennywise the Clown. Have you ever tried to do anything about this disorder? <laughs> well, not all the medications. Anal frannel, <laughs> Atterballs, <laughs> Percocex, <laughs> Cream Pylenol, <laughs> even Ben I Drill. <laughs>
smells like piss in here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you guys only kiss? Uh, I, I can't. What? I can't let him in here. I, I can't. I can't. David, those pants are fabulous. <laughs> Thanks, they're khakis. I'm too fat for my khakis. <laughs> uh, Dad, let's go shopping tomorrow. Klaus, we're going shopping? God damn it, Rebecca. Oh my God, I would love to go shopping. I could really use some new V-neck t-shirts, you know, some nail polish, maybe some layer, you know, new hair brushes, um, a new red CD, and an earring made specifically for the right ear only. Oh <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. You couldn't save the knockout punch for a little later. What are you talking about? David's a homophobe. Oh, well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> what are we, uh, what are we gonna do with him? Uh, let's put him on the couch. Can someone help me carry him? Fine, but only if I can lift him by the legs. Why? <laughs> Because it'll be hilarious if he wakes up and sees me carrying him. <laughs> are you one of those parents who just doesn't understand what your children are saying? With all these slang words, how am I supposed to understand what my kids are saying? Shook. She says she's shook. <laughs> who shook you? <laughs> in two weeks than I did the 15 years I was a parent, I became hella woke. <laughs> <laughs> After Rosetta Stone, I can finally finesse with my fam. <laughs> Rosetta Stone is so effective, it's used by department stores, clothing designers, NASA, Fortune, 500, Fortune 500 companies, and frat boys. There's absolutely no memorization needed. It's natural speaking, natural learning. And you'll learn more than you would in any other course. I'm a card-carrying member of the Bloods now. Hey kids, what do you ball a gang shooting? A homicide. <laughs> to help you get started, we'll give you your first lesson absolutely free when you call. With this program, you can catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> help me do what I always wanted to do, which is smoke that loud with my kids. <laughs> Thanks to Rosetta Stone, I turned this family from lame sauce to squad goals AF. <laughs> so, go, so call now or visit our website and see why Rosetta Stone is the best way to learn the millennial language guaranteed. Philomena, anyway, you don't hear that name anymore. Oh, come on. I think of a beautiful name. It's Italian. It's cultural. Do you know how many people in my family are named Philomena? We should be numbered. Philomena number 52. Go get that plate to Philomena number 15. She's old and tired of being called Philomena. Really? Number 52? You're number 52? Are you sure we can't just go to your parents for dinner? Your mom is so... Quiet? Sometimes quiet is good. <laughs> No, I wasn't friends. Ah, Bella, 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 Fachaccio! How are you doing? Oh, is this your boyfriend? Where is he from? Italy? North Italy? Do I know your grandparents? <laughs>
Break my sister's heart, I'll fucking kill ya. Oh. <laughs> I'll just got you again. This one seems a little off if you ask me. Hey, Maria, where's the spaghetti? I'm hungry. It's in the kitchen. Hey, Where else would it be? Of course it's fresh sauce. <laughs> what are you talking about? That Joe told you, that Fran told him, that Flo told that I lost my job. You know that you don't want to know what you be talking about this stuff? <laughs>